Hi there, folks. Keenan here. Today I will be discussing Parxasaurs, one of the more common clades of animals found in Chimere, the setting of my literary work. Ancestral Parxasaurs of Earth were a clade of basal Ornithischian dinosaurs. They seem to have had a generalist herbivore diet and were fairly small, ranging in size of a small dog in many species up to 600 pounds and 13 feet long in the case of Thyscalosaurus. A large animal by modern standards, perhaps, but nothing noteworthy among dinosaurs. A notable member of this clade is Oryctodromius, the first dinosaur discovered with evidence of burrowing behavior. Although its relatives Orodromius and Zephyrosaurus were also likely burrowers, as they showed similar adaptations in the skull and forearms. For millions of years, Parxosaurs held on in Chimere as burrowing dinosaurs, staying hidden in the shadows of the giant tyrants, hadrosaurs, and horned dinosaurs that dominated their world. Following the dynastic extinction that wiped out most of the hadrosaurs and ceratopsians 15 million years ago, many large herbivore niches were suddenly open for the taking. Although some were claimed by mammals, with taxa pouring in from the portal as it tried to populate Chimere with megafauna once more, the ancestral parxosaurs proved quite competitive. They could eat almost anything, from roots and bones to barks and hard seeds, and often constructed complex burrows to keep their offspring safe from predation. They are now the most common dinosaur in the known world, and have diversified quite substantially in the 15 million years since their entrance to center stage. Three clades of Chimeran parxosaurs can be found in the known world. The burrowers, the runners, and the prosauropod mimics. Despite the diversity and success that the group has enjoyed overall, the first clade, which maintains the ancestral lifestyle of burrowing herbivores, remains quite successful. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. The Zaidi is quite similar in build and lifestyle to their ancestors, and is found on every continent in the known world, along with most islands. They are social animals. On the mainland, they can be quite aggressive, notoriously charging massive intruders with total disregard for their own safety. Island populations, however, are often quite docile, and it is from these animals that the Durfell has arisen. The Durfell is one of two domesticated parxosaurs. They are bred for their filaments, which are soft and quite downy, and for their meat, particularly that of their muscular tail. The largest of the burrowing clade, and indeed largest of all parxosaurs in the known world, is the Kotar. These animals live in small groups led by the eldest female, and are defended by a titanic 8 to 10 ton bull. Although they don't dig burrows, the ancestral instincts manifest in excavating their territories. They are consistently the greatest threat to the Great Wall surrounding the Empire, digging under it, or simply pushing through the planks, seemingly for no other reason than the fact that it's there. They unfortunately register the scent of mammals as a threat to their young. For this reason, they kill more humans than any of the large theropods, and will sometimes feed on the victims for extra nutrients. Some of the fastest terrestrial animals of Chimere are the running parxosaurs. Like the Zaidi, the most common of these sprinters, the Chatul, has been domesticated. These animals, called Hul by the Kajarith, are ridden by children as part of a fast package delivery service and as military scouts, as they can ride faster and longer than a horse. The largest member of this clade is the Drokel. These fast animals live out on the housey prairie north of the Empire and are highly aggressive, known to run down a horse and rider and kill one or both without provocation. The most diverse clade in the known world are the prosauropod mimics, so named by Earth naturalists for their superficial resemblance to basal sauropodomorphs in our own fossil record. These parxosaurs have short legs and streamlined bodies. All are quite proficient swimmers, a key to their diversity and success in the wetland-dominant ecosystems of Chimere. Within this clade there are three groups, the Builders, the Serpent Drakes, and the Spirit Drakes. With similar proportions, the Builders are the reason that this clade is named after prosauropods, or basal sauropodomorphs, as they are now called. Their burrowing ancestry has translated into shaping the land to suit their needs, often constructing complex mazes in their nests to thwart and redirect raiders. This isn't plotted, more instinct. 
but has been a key to their success, especially in the cow-sized Jadarok. The serpent drakes are omnivores, feeding on water plants and hunting for fish and crustaceans in Chimere and wetlands. Although most are fairly small, the keat of the Kentarim Islands regularly exceeds 12 feet in length. The Kentarim and Pirates of the Crescent maintain that to the north and east respectively, there are serpent drakes the size of a small whale, and the same is said of the Great Lakes of the Picardiant, although these claims are unsubstantiated. Spirit, or ghost, drakes are so called for their filaments that resemble human hair and forward-facing eyes, making them look almost human from the front, especially in low-light conditions of their preferred habitat. The Jiao is often mistaken for lost souls out in the wetlands. The largest prosauropod mimic found in the known world, the Jugashen, is the larger of the two spirit drakes, and a notorious hunter of humankind. They are omnivorous, often living with herds of hippos, but will often venture into human settlements and take a few villagers. For a six-ton beast to walk unheard is central to their terrifying reputation, and is the root of their name in Cyridic, the Silent Death. With such diversity, adaptability, and resilience, it is no surprise that the Parxosaurs have arisen from their humble origins to such great success. Every island, wetland, mountain, prairie, and forest has at least one species present. Although perhaps unimpressive in our own fossil record, Parxosaurs of Chimere have shaped a volatile and competitive world into their own unchallenged domain, 